Welcome to Trading for Dollars. That's not right. <laughs> I'm John Zadar. At least I got that right. And this is On Top and Hot. And this is Monday, April 22nd. Now, I'm sure most of you are pretty familiar by now with the format of my show. What I like to do is share my own personal due diligence with you on a hot penny stock. Now, who says that penny stock is hot? I do. <laughs> it's my show. It's my opinion. Seriously, though, I am out there every single day, bell to bell, trading penny stocks. Stocks under five bucks that you can find on any market. And I'm constantly keeping my eye open for stocks that have heat. Stocks that have potential to make us some money. So they've got something to share with you at the end of the day. Well, I did real good today. Today, we're looking at New Gen Group, ticker NIVF. Now, she had big news come out today. She's involved with a reverse merger with a revenue generating company. Now, that's always hot news. That's always a catalyst. But this is a unique situation. New Gen just came onto the market April 3rd, three weeks ago. She came on at $5. The stock took a big drop down to a low of 68 cents, which she hit this morning. Then came out this news and boink, she popped up to $1.28. Now, think about that. She dropped more than 80% in three weeks. Do you think the company actually lost 80% of its value in three weeks? No. This is market sentiment that has nothing to do with the company. So, the stock is severely undervalued. Well, in today's news press about the reverse merger, the company takes the opportunity to slam home just how undervalued the stock is. And that's why we're looking at it. I believe she is worth $5 or more right now. And I think she's going to jump back to that point pretty quick, which would be over 300% gain from where we're at right now. So, new gen, she finished the day at $1.28 and she's up over 66%. Now, this is a hot penny stock on the major exchange, the NASDAQ, that comes with benefits compared to the OTC. First off, there's no transaction fees trading penny stocks on the major exchange. All trades on the major exchange are free. You can trade pre-market, after-market. You can't do that with OTC stocks. There's a lot more money and a lot more volume up on the major exchange. And yes, a lot more oversight, a lot less risk. I like trading penny stocks on the major exchanges. So, what is this company all about? We're jumping on over to the most recent news press. They tell us here that NewGen is a comprehensive fertility service provider in Asia, helping couples and individuals obtain access to fertility treatments. With a mission to aid couples and individuals in building families regardless of their fertility challenges, NewGen has dedicated itself to creating increased access to infertility treatment and providing comprehensive fertility services for its customers. NewGen Group and its management have over a decade of experience in the fertility industry. NewGen's clinics are located in Thailand, Cambodia, and Kyrgyzstan and present a full suite of services for its patients, including comprehensive infertility and assisted reproductive technology treatments, egg and sperm donation, surrogacy, uh, in vitro fertilization, freezing your eggs, uh, culminating and accumulating sperm, anything to do with fertility. That's what they're about. So what was the relative volume around the company today? Oh my God. God, what an explosion here, folks. This is about 320 times her normal volume. She was doing about a quarter million shares a day for the last 30 days. Today, she did about 80 million. Takes four of these quarter millions to make a million. There's 80 million, four times 80, four times eight, 320. Folks, that is a huge jump in volume. Wow. Share structure for the company. They don't give us any information here, but I know where else to look. I jumped into their most recent financial, their 20F, which came out here in April. They tell us that their authorized share count is 101 million. Their outstanding share count is at 10.1 million. Outstanding. Not real clear what the float is. They also tell us that they put out 8.3 million warrants. Now, warrants are coupons that will allow the holders to cash in and exercise them down the road 
three to five years, they'll make money on that. And every time they exercise a warrant, a new share is born. So somewhere down the road, we'll get another 8.3 million shares added onto this, but that's a ways down the road. Now, when you look at the market cap, we don't have anything either. Market cap is figured out by taking the price and multiplying it times the outstanding share count. Well, we know what the outstanding share count is, 10.1 million. Price is right there at 1.3. So let's just round this off to about 10 million. We're looking at about 13 million for our market cap right now. Financials for the company. Well, we have nothing listed here annually, nothing quarterly. We don't even have a balance sheet. Now, I did jump into the most recent financial. I've been in it a few times here. But believe it or not, there's no financials in it. There's a lot of textual information, but there's nothing on assets and liability, stockholder equity, revenues, expenses. None of that. Not in the very first one. Nothing there. The 6K, this is about the reverse merger. And rather than jump into the filing, we're going to look at the news for that. And then we've got these 13 Ds and 13 Gs. These are always good news. These are about new owners coming on board, buying enough shares that they get a percentage of the company. Well, these are actually old, not real old. They came out on the 10th, but they happened on the 3rd, the day of the IPO. So these people bought in on the day of the IPO. We had one for 5% and another one for 40% of the company. This was the president, the CEO of the company. He bought just a little over 4 million of those 10 million shares. So he's got 40%. The float is now down to 60%. So we're holding closer to 6 million shares in the float. It's getting better and better all the time. All right, let's go take a look at that news now. This is the only piece of news we have. There is no more news. Came out today. New Gen signs non-binding term sheet for potential reverse merger with European Wellness Investment Holdings. New Gen, a comprehensive fertility services provider in Asia, helping couples and individuals obtain access to fertility treatments, today announced the execution of a non-binding term sheet regarding a proposed reverse merger with healthcare company European Wellness Investment Holdings. Now, before we get into the rest of this, who is European Wellness? We're jumping into that 6K. We learned this. I can only stretch it so far. European Wellness is an international multi-award winning European group renowned for its pioneering developments in precursor stem cell therapeutics, immunomodulization, biological and synthetic peptides, nutraceuticals, cosmeceuticals, and biological regenerative medicines. European Wellness owns a growing network of over 30 clinics and four hospitals worldwide and has over 600 supplements and injectable products all trademarked. Now this is the interesting part here. Based on the valuation, the target company, we're talking about European Wellness, has been projected to be worth $323 million. NVIF is acquiring the company for 23% less than that. They're getting it closer to $250, $260 million. Folks, that means they're getting like $60 to $70 million worth of assets for free. Just for free. So they're getting a real good deal here. Now, going back to that news, we get some more information about this deal. The proposed reverse merger will bolster our position in several key ways. Operationally, it will unlock significant synergies, considering that both are in the medical sector, and expand our global reach, and help us to further improve fertility outcomes for our customers. Financially, with the acquisition of a profitable business, I didn't show you that, did I? Right there. The company, the new one, European Wellness, is projected to make $11.7 million by the end of 2024. So they are making money right now, and it looks like they're going to have that money at the end of the year, which becomes this company's money. So they tell us financially, with the acquisition of a profitable business and a $30 million fundraising, now, what they're talking about here is selling more shares. They're, they're talking about selling them to both 
uh, private placements, big investors, as well as public offerings to me and you, the little investors. We will then be well equipped to fund our future growth. Moreover, the issuance of the additional ordinary shares will increase our market capitalization, ensuring higher trading liquidity. Remember I told you, the more shares there are, the higher your market cap goes up. Finally, I believe that the deemed price of $5 per share, which is what they tell us down here, European Wellness took 53.6 million shares at a value of $5 a share for this company. What's our price? $1.28. So European Wellness just let themselves be bamboozled for 300%? No, of course not. They did their due diligence. They know the company is worth at least $5. That's the deal they just made. So if the stock has fallen 80% in three weeks from $5, they just made a deal with another company who took over 53 million shares of stock valued at $5 each. This company thinks it's worth $5. Don't you think we should too? And that's exactly what we're thinking, that everybody's going to come to their right mind and realize this company's undervalued and it's going to jump, jump, jump and hit that five bucks. What happens after that? I don't know, but I think she's going to get to five bucks pretty quick. Let's go take a look at that chart now. We got new gen group locked and loaded. Ticker NIVF. And we're going to chart this bad boy on my free trading platform, Think or Swim. Got her opened up to a 20-day, one-hour view, which is all we need to see the entire chart because she just came on three weeks ago. April 3rd, she came on at about $5, hit a high of $5.27, and then started the fall and fell fast and furious. The next day, she was down near a buck 20 after being up at $5.27, and she wasn't done falling. Over the next couple of days, she stair-stepped even lower, and then she just started dribbling downhill till she hit this ultimate low of 64 cents on the 17th. This morning, we were at 68 cents before she took off with all that volume. Tons of it compared to what we had before, that is a ton of volume. And when she launched, she put herself up on top of that nine-day SMA and floated on that thing all day and is still climbing on it after market period. All of our SMAs are climbing right now, 50, 20, and 9. We do not have a 200-day SMA on the charts yet. All of our oscillators are climbing and looking good, except our RSI, which doesn't look bad. She's cooled off a little bit, but she is still up there at 64. Let's come on down to our 15 minute rather than the five minute. This is just a little cleaner. So you can see we didn't have a whole lot of activity until today. So that's what I want to focus in on. I'm going to zoom in on today and then I'm going to grab my Fibonacci. The Fibonacci is going to give me some supports and resistances because we don't have a lot of chart to work with. So I'm going to poke the top high bubble there, drag it down to where this all started right there. These are actual supports and resistances we can trade on and the price is going to respect. So they're legitimate even though they're not attached to any historical price points. Now when you do it the way I did and you start it from the top and come down, it'll actually throw resistances and supports above your head. And as I said, they are legitimate. So when I put up my Fibonacci, the first thing I am focused in on is the halfway point. It's called the 50% mark. It's exactly halfway of the run or the dip. I expect a dip. After a strong run, I expect it to come down at least 50%. I'm expecting that, which is why I like to sell at the top because that's a lot of loss. Well, she came up, hit this high here of about $1.80, fell back down to the 50% mark, laid on that for quite a while, tagged this nine day and jumped, hitting her high up here, coming back down to the nine day SMA and falling. Now she is underneath our halfway point here. If you come below the halfway point, there's a very strong likelihood you're going to continue falling till you hit a strong SMA. Well, this got close, but it didn't hit anything here, maybe on another time chart but she bounced back up and now she is sitting perfectly 
on our 50% mark, our halfway point. If you can stay above the 50% mark, you have a stronger likelihood of continuing your climb. This looks good. All of our SMAs, including our 200, are on an incline right now in climbing. Everything is strong. Osculators, um, they look pretty good. There's a little bit of weakness here, but nothing to be scared of. I'm liking this. I think the company's got a lot of heat. I think there's a lot going on for her. I think she has room to pop to that $5 mark, folks. Let's see where our resistances are here. At the 50% mark, we are here at $1.31. The next one is $1.45, $1.65, and $1.90 at the very top. When we break that, there's a lot of room to grow, folks, because she fell so fast. It's a gap over there. So there'll be very little resistance for her to move from $1.90 up to $2.63. When she gets near 263, she's going to stutter and sputter. She'll hit her head. She may get on top and come right back down. So you're going to have to watch it or get out right there. She may come down. Same thing. When she gets over the 263, she'll be working up to 381. Not a lot of resistance in this area because of the gap, the big fall. So once she gets over 263, she's going to be pushing for 381. When she gets to 381, she's going to stutter and sputter and slow down. This is a good time to get out if you're worried about her not going the rest of the way. But remember, folks, when you're selling, it is not an all or nothing decision. Scale out. Sell some. Sell 20% or 25% or one third. Sell some at that profit. Pull some of that money back in, maybe even get back what you invested and then just have free shares invested. If you're going to gamble, gamble with house money, not your own money. And as she starts to climb, sell another 25%. Take that off the table. Don't be doing any calculations. How much money if I, am I losing if I pull it out? If I leave it in, I'll get this much. You're talking yourself into a losing game there. Take your gains. Even if you're leaving money on the table, you're coming out ahead. There's a lot more information to know about this company. Dive around, get into Google, learn about the company that they are focused in on right now. European Wellness, see what they're all about. Remember, the more you know, the more you're going to grow. See you, folks.